In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few really helpful tips in FL Studio. It's five tips and uh, really easy ones you can always use and will help you with your work. So the first one is pretty simple. Well, basically we got a kick and a synth here in this example and we can ch we don't like the kick. I mean, listen to it. <laughs> It's a weird kick. Well, we can always change it by dragging one from the the samples we got. And by dragging them, that's one of the ways, but that's the way usually people use. But there is another way and it's s more simple. You can uh, click any of the samples with mouse heel and it will automatically change the kick of the channel that is selected. So this green light, it will change the sample. So you just click with mouse heel, whatever kick you want, and it will change. So you can do that while playing. it's easier than dragging it you just click it so remember that with mouse heel you can change the samples so that's one of the tips another one is well let me explain so we put the the pattern in our song and we can we can always make extend it this way or this way but let's say we got multiple tracks here and you don't want to just go here then click this go here you can just select them all and press control B and it will always duplicate them after the last selection so if you if you have it this way it will duplicate it here so that's something really helpful I always use that and it works in piano roll as well you can just select all the notes and click control that and B and it will duplicate it and also if you want you don't have to select the tracks like this I mean now it's it's it doesn't matter but if you have project that is really long and you have to scroll when selecting all the tracks you can just select this tool and do it this way. Just drag it through the tracks and it will select everything that is there. So that's pretty pretty good thing as well. And I use that a lot. Well, next thing is in piano roll, you can, uh, if you want this melody, this chords, octave up, you can just drag them, you know, on G4, G3. Sometimes it get a little bit confused, but you can do this by clicking control and uh, arrow up and it will automatically drag it one octave up or arrow down it will drag one octave down and if you want you can also transpose that means it will just drag it every every of the nodes every node it will drag it on uh, one key up and that that you do with shift and arrows as well well that's pretty helpful thing as well and sometimes it's really good was another tip and I think it's more than five tips actually I just made some up right now so the next thing is you know, well you you can move your notes like this you can 
adjust the land length and uh, it always snaps to grid and if you don't want it to snap to grid you just go here and click none and then it doesn't and you can move it wherever you want but the better way to do this is it always snaps to grid but if you don't want it you just hold alt left alt and then it stops snapping to grid and then again if you don't hold the alt it will make it longer but it won't snap to grid anymore and if you want to fix this you just select the note and click control Q and it will quantize the note for you and it will be snapped to grid so that was another one and that was the last one actually so that's a few tips you can use and it's pretty good next time I try to cover some more thanks for watching